Hey YouTube, Hanneken here. We got another episode of Geek K today. Today I'm going to be reviewing two, I have two pop orders uh, from two different companies rather. Uh, first up is going to be from, uh, it's actually a, an actual retail store, uh, Barnes & Noble. Uh, I ordered uh, four pops off of their website online. So let's uh, take a look at what we got here. Um, I did uh, try and get the theme out of these with one random extra one in there, but uh, I tried to get, I was going for a series one of the Ninja Turtles line. So first up we have from Barnes & Noble, uh, it's going to be number 61 in the television series. It's going to be Raphael. There's the pop. So right off the bat, one thing I've noticed about the Barnes & Noble Pops is they don't, uh, as opposed to some of the um, more specialized stores, um, online retailers, is they don't specify quality. Um, they don't. They don't differentiate between mint and not mint. And what I mean, what I interpret mint versus not mint on their on a website is based on what I can see in the box. Does it look like it's not mint? That means can I see blatant paint flaws, scuff marks, dents in the box or in the pop from the front? Um, obviously, the backside you're not going to be able to see in the box. But that's what I take mint to mean. So is the box in mint condition? And do you see any noticeable scuff marks, paint errors, massive flaws uh, from, that you can notice in the box, uh, in the window? Um, right off the bat, uh, one of these boxes came completely dented up. Um, and almost all these pops have some sort of paint flaw or scuff mark on the front of them. So, on the Raphael one, there's a little scuff mark on his nose, there's something on his shell, he's got a uh, little thing on his arm here, and something on his foot, but I don't know if you can see that in here or not, but just right off the bat, they have like noticeable scuff marks on them. Um, it doesn't appear that they have very good quality control. Um, obviously, Pops have bad paint jobs to begin with, so it really takes someone who knows what they're doing to look at these. And obviously because it's an online retailer and a retailer in general, this isn't their only thing. They focus on lots of different categories. They are not a collector-focused website. They're not going to focus on providing that kind of quality. So take that into account when you're ordering from them. And as such, they're going to be a lot lower in my ratings based off of that in that category. Um, since this is the first time I'm ordering from these two sites, I'm not going to... Uh, I don't know what the rating is yet. I'm going to post that, but I will post that in the description. But these are small orders, and this is the first time I'm ordering from them. So keep that in mind that it's an initial rating. So yeah, that's Raphael. So next up, the one that actually had all the dents in it and whatnot, and the box was kind of in semi-bad condition, not mint, is the Donatello Pop. Um, I don't know if you can really tell, but right on this corner here, it's like pretty dented in. And then the back is just like completely depressed in, like that's where all the weight was. Um, the packing of the box was actually fairly good. Uh, they wrapped, they had bubble wrapping in there, and or not bubble wrapping, but the, the giant airbags uh, lining it, but the pops were just laying on the bottom. So basically they were just protecting something from laying on it, however, only on one side. So anything, if the box was upside down, it's not gonna protect the pops. It's not gonna stop the pops from moving around too much because there's still gaps in there. Um, you need to actually line all around every side on a pop figure if you're going to ship it. And they didn't accomplish that in any way, shape, or form. As far as value goes on these, they were relatively uh, average. Um, they weren't I don't think they were really up chart upscaled uh, price wise, value wise. Um, I got four pops for thirty five dollars, which is actually fairly reasonable. Seeing as how you probably are going to pay nine uh, to ten dollars in store anyways. So ultimately, um, I got a twenty percent discount. So it probably would have been if I ordered these straight out, it would have been over forty dollars. But that twenty percent discount offset that, so I got a pretty good value on it. Um, as far as the Donatello pop goes, 
and the scuff marks and the paint job and whatnot. This one is actually not too bad. Uh, the box had more of the errors. There's uh, a small, like, tiny, tiny little speck on his face, but other than that, the pop itself is actually in pretty good condition. Uh, and a really good paint job, actually, for a change. So moving on, uh, next up we have the Michelangelo pop. Uh, the box is in fairly good condition. Um, and this was probably, this is the, this pop was probably in the best condition. Um, I don't, I, and maybe because it was in the center with like, like Rafael, uh, like Donatello was on the side and then another pop over here and then uh, Raphael was standing up on its side. But uh, as far as like the pop goes, um, there's actually very little um, noticeable flaws on the front side of it. There's a small uh, issue in the back, and there is actually a tiny bit in front, but other than that, it's, it's actually, I don't know, the, I spoke too soon, the bottom of it is actually pretty poorly painted. But all in all, yeah, the mask is poorly painted, so this one is actually not a good paint job. Um, and that's that's one thing you're gonna get when you get online is you're not gonna be able to like I said you're not gonna be able to control this. Um, some companies do a very good job, but uh, and, and they'll weed it out and like I said they'll they'll charge you less for a pop that's not mint quality um, and they'll differentiate that. But um, it's it's a give and take. Um, for instance, Entertainment Earth does that where they have the mint and they have the non mint. But their website sucks. It's horrible to navigate. Too much content. It's not extremely intuitive to use and differentiate between the mint and not mint. Plus, they don't take a, an item off of the site from, uh, uh, of displaying if it's not in stock. So you have to pay attention for a little thing in the, a little word on the bottom that says out of stock, and it's very small print and very deceptive to see before you know that it's not there. So you see, it's like, oh yeah, they have it, awesome, and it's not there. So it's, it's give and take on these sites when you're ordering online, obviously. Um, so that's the Michelangelo pop. And then they, when I went to purchase or close out my order, I originally had five pops in here, all the Ninja Turtle, like the four turtles, but I guess they sold out of the last Leonardo. So this, so, so Barnes and Noble didn't have Leonardo on it to order it. Uh, but the other pop that I got, um, and this is where the main de like discount came from, because you only got it on one item, you got 20% off on one item. Uh, I, had, I have the re-release of the Star Wars number 21 clone trooper. Now, I'm really annoyed with this one because not only, it's not just dented, but the box is ripped. So, I don't, I can't really, I don't know if you can see that, but right at the word pop, it's kind of like ripped there. There you go. Yeah. So, I mean, this adds to my, my, uh, my uh, collection for the, uh, all the original series Star Wars ones. I mean, this is a re-released version of it. Uh, and this is the Clone Trooper. Uh, as far as paint job goes and everything, it's actually like pretty legit. There's mm, some minor flaws, but um, you know, all of these consistently flaws and box damage. Um, probably I'm not gonna order from them again. Um, to tell you the truth, so this will probably be a rating based off of one encounter with them. And what I've, from what I've seen, I have not been in the store to purchase these because there's none around me. Um, and I haven't seen any in, in the Barnes and Nobles in the past when I've been to them. Um, because it's been a while since I've been to one. They, but online I've seen a lot of people go to them uh, and whatnot. They, they're very, very, very horrible with maintaining the pops. Um, it's probably harder in stores, granted, because you have individuals running around, picking them up, putting them down, throwing them around, moving them around, shuffling them around. But they have horrible quality control. Uh, and you're going to see that a lot, I guess, with retail stores, but 
it just it doesn't seem like they I mean it's not the type of store you would think would take good care of a collectible type of item. It's a bookstore. They're used to people picking stuff up and throwing it back down in the wrong place or upside down or bending corners and stuff like that of items. It's not like the entire structure of the store and the layout of the store is conducive with just haphazardly laissez-faire kind of interaction. Just, you know, throw caution to the wind and do whatever. It's not, it, stuff is just everywhere. So, I mean, that's kind of the style of store it is. But uh, it's just not uh, worth the price that I'm paying for these pops to receive them in this quality from this company. So, I mean, Barnes & Noble, maybe it's a good company for books and stuff. Okay, but for Pops, I'm probably not gonna go there. I, yes, they have exclusives, and I mean, I would rather wait and get it on eBay, um, and pay a little bit more, where I know I'm gonna get a better quality with better shipping, better handling, because the individuals actually know what they're doing when they send these, or when they ship these and they know how to take care of them, and they know how to select the good ones. So that's how, I'm gonna, that's how I would handle that. And that's what I would recommend to you guys as well. So that is the four pops that I got from Barnes & Noble. Now, they did not have Leonardo when I went to purchase it, so I went to another company. There's a new company that I found, a new website that I found. It's called Zap Smash. Um, this is the first time I ordered from them, first time I found them. I, I, don't, I forget where I found them or whatnot. Uh, so I ordered Leonardo from them. I actually purchased two pops originally from them. It was Leonardo and it was um, one of the Firefly characters. Um, however, they, after I purchased it, they, did, they, they uh, I guess they, somehow it got double booked or, or something in their website and they didn't have that pop. They immediately contacted me and they're like, hey, via email, and they're like, hey, we're so sorry, um, this, this, this item, uh, somehow we don't have it, and uh, is there another pop that we can you know, give you uh, at that price, or can, do you, would you like us to refund the money that you, you know, uh, spent on that to us or, or whatnot? Uh, and I ultimately, um, or my gut reaction was just like, well, just send me the Leonardo, I'll get the other one somewhere else. Uh, no biggie, no foul, this happens sometimes. You'll see if you order a lot of stuff online from these kind of companies. So they responded and said, okay, fine, we've credited your card or your account uh, back the money, and we also um, uh, gave you a little bit more to offset the additional cost for shipping and, and whatnot and the um, uh, negative experience with, with uh, the fact that we did not have what you wanted. So that was, I thought that was really, really awesome. So they're going to get a, re so they got uh, really good ratings on their customer service with that respect. Um, so let me show you the pop real quick and then I'll get into the further details. So as far as shipping go, they, they did an awesome job. The pop, not only was the pop wrapped in bubble wrap, the sides of the box was lined in bubble wrap. So it was double protected. The box is in pristine condition, as you can see. There's no flaws, no dents, no nothing. Um, as far as the pop goes, however, I mean, it's kind of, I don't know if it's, I think it might, it's either dirty or like there's a scuff, so it's not the greatest pop. Um, the quality of it is okay, um, but it seems like this is a rather new company, um, or so, so they might, you know, just be getting into the game, so and 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 whatnot. So they don't, they don't, they might not have the resources to do that. Um, if they're watching or if they see this, Zap Smash guys, nothing against you guys. You guys seem to be doing a good job. Like I was saying earlier in the video. Do a little bit of quality control with your pops and you'll get a lot more out of them. You can probably offset the cost of charging a little bit more for mint condition pops. People will pay for that. Um, separate it out into categories. Um, as far as their website goes, um, their 
actual design and layout and whatnot and usability of their site was pretty good. It was actually on par almost with the kind of tour is. I tried to remember about features. I don't, I don't recall too many features or whatnot, but I'll get into, I'll, I'll add all that, in fact, that in later on. Um, they did have some issues with images and not all their pops having images, but again, like I said, maybe it's new and they're in the process of uploading everything and they just didn't see it. Um, as far as like shipping speed, both of these got here on the same day. I ordered them on the same day. So they're even Stevens with that as far as the speed and the shipping and the quality. Um, they obviously did a better job of packing it. They did a better job of controlling the, the actual figure. Uh, as far as the value goes, um, I don't recall off the top of my head how much I paid for this. Um, so I'll have to like check that out and I'll factor that in shipping and all that kind of stuff into my overall rating. Uh, I'll provide that in the description, obviously. But I, I ordered one pop from them. I definitely will try them again to see what a larger order might, you know, um, how, how they'll, they'll work with larger orders or with more pops um, as I need. Uh, it doesn't seem like they have a vast quantity uh, as far as their, um, their that race of pops or whatever, their inventory of pops or whatever it is. Um, but they are bound to have some pops that I'm going to need, so I will try and get some pops from them and, and offset them as well. Um, okay, so that does it for all the pops uh, and these two companies. Like I said, I'm going to put the ratings and everything uh, in the description. That's all I got. Uh, as always, let me know what you guys think if you've bought from Barnes & Noble in-store, out-of-store, like on their website or whatnot or if you've used that uh, Smash before uh, to order pops or you know anything else about them, or you know other sites that I haven't, might, might not have reviewed yet, um, or you have your own site and you would like me to review it, whatever, post in the comments, uh, all this stuff. Uh, we'll, you know, I'm always trying, I try to uh, respond to everything in there. Um, and we'll talk about it, and, you know, uh, I'd like to, get some of your guys' opinions too so I can factor that into the ratings and make them better. Um, as always, uh, I'm Hannikin. This has been an episode of Geek Cake. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out, especially since we are doing a giveaway. Uh, get a Marvel Collector Core Deadpool box this month. Um, if you subscribe before the end of the month, check out video 20 for all the details on other ways that you can get entries into that as well. Um, later.